All right, and video number two. Hopefully you've just watched video number one, which was my loadout for the Foxway. This is all my kit here. I'm still in the very early days of my hiking career. Still um, dialing down my gear, trying to get as light as possible. So in video number two, I wanted to look at my gear and just sort of uh, tell you where I'm heading, what I want to buy in the future, what's what. So when we start at the bottom, my uh, wearing stuff, this is all cool, I'm happy with this. My car hat, that's good. Uh, Sensi designs, so that's good. These shorts are amazing, Lululemon. This merino wool decathlon top, it's good, it works. If it ain't broken, don't fix it. These bottles here, they're one liter a pop, um, and I currently hold three liters. I'd like to find something that's a liter and a half, possibly two liters, not much wider in girth, but I'm also potentially gonna upgrade my filter system to the Salomon something or other. I'm not entirely sure what it's called. Uh, I know that if Parler on the Trail is currently using it on his land in John O'Groats, he's telling me good things about it. So I'm potentially going to trade this out for that and I'm pretty sure it has the B3 uh, fitting at the top. So yeah, so what that's probably, this system is probably going to change to um, the Canuck bottles which I believe take the B3 and therefore are also slightly bigger. I think they do a litre and a half one. So maybe two of those and the Salomons, happy days. Um, so that's where I'm going with water filtration. So let's get those out of the way. Uh, camera, um, camera, I'm currently using either a GoPro or my phone. My phone is an S10. I'd like to get a Sony RX100 um, with a microphone, because again, I'm not using a microphone. But cameras ain't cheap, you know, and all my gear takes much, much more priority than I've also got a van that gobbles up a bit of money here and there. So the camera will probably be on the Christmas wish list. Watch out for that one, wife. Uh, yeah, so that's probably be on there. Um, talk about tech. I'm just kind of using a Anker 5000, um, but I'd like to get the Nikon. 10,000 is it 10,000? No, I think it's 5,000. They're currently building a 10,000, which is considerably lighter, has a lot better features, has fast charge, has fast charge for your device, fast charge for it going in. It turns off when the device gets to 100% charge. Oh, it's just incredible, and it weighs next to nothing, and it's about 50 odd pounds, give or take. Um, check out uh, Dexter, he was telling me all about that, and uh, yeah, that's. Um, basically where I'm going to go with it, that one. Uh, I currently carry a Garmin. Um, it's mainly, this device is mainly for running, swimming, triathlons, etc. It just doesn't have the battery capacity or power to do a couple of days. It dies after about seven hours. So it's a pretty pointless kit for hiking with, unless you're doing a day hike. So I kind of like to get a Garmin Mini Reach or something like that, which is multi-function, multi-use, usage gives me that safety beacon type affair with it as well but again they're about 400 notes or something so they ain't cheap either um, kit kit wise this works this is really good um, it's functional it's watertight it works but when you haven't got anything any food in it it's quite bulky so again uh, good luck do a waterproof watertight dry uh, cold soaking bag I've got my eye on that I know someone who's using it at the moment. Again, they say good things about it. Um, so that's probably where that's going to go. Um, da -da 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 -da. Next thing up, next thing up, next thing up. Uh, my sleeping kit. At the moment, it is. Um, at the moment, I'm just wet, hiking in a in a cheap pair of tights. They're fine. My sleep kit was a cheap pair of fleecy trousers just to keep me going. But I'd like to get some icebreaker leggings, long johns to go with my icebreaker top because this was really good and I'd just like to get the bottom. But I couldn't afford both at the time, they were about £50 each, so um, I was a bit short on those. My waterproof jacket and my Decathlon MH100. This really works, it's £15. It's not the most breathable thing. Yes, I would love a Visp or the Z Z Pax version, but. This will probably be one of the last things I change because it's super light, it's tiny, and it was only £15. So if I walk through a barbed wire fence and get a massive gash in it, who cares? I'll just buy another one. Um, walking pole, the Sanok Canock walking pole, 
is fantastic. It's really, really good. It's just for my Altiplex, it goes to the right height. But I'll talk about that in a minute. I'm potentially like to get a tarp of some sort, and then I won't need the extra height on this. These weigh about 300 grams, and obviously you can get walking poles that weigh sort of 160, 170 up. You might even be able to get them lighter. I'm not a walking pole guru, but then that's obviously going to save a massive weight saving. If I can get a lighter pole and a lighter uh, tent tarp shelter situation going on there. Um, and what else can I show you? My quilt. I've got two quilts. This is the Bally and Pete Classic 5 degree wide and long. It's really, really good. Really, really good. But the only times I've ever used it has been out of its comfort zone. And I've also got a UGQ down minus 13, all singing, all dancing fantastic quilt which is just folds up compresses to quite big so as much as I hate to say it I need a third quilt and I'm currently looking at the EE I might get another one of these because these are synthetic but I would really really like an EE uh, Enigma I think it is the one with the closed foot box and I'd like one that goes they do one that goes about minus one I think that's probably about the the middle range so then I'll have a minus 13 a 5 and a minus 1 with a closed foot box so uh, that's probably something I'm going to order hopefully around Christmas time because they're about 300 pounds ish plus import fees so expensive but not like mega um, this mat is just the Cathlon Thermarest Thermarest is a company sorry this is just the Cathlon foam mat the rest of the company are struggling with COVID, etc., and you just can't get them anywhere. So I was really hunting for a Thermarest wide long, uh, no, normal, standard long, sorry, no, standard wide, but I can't, you can't find them anywhere. They're out of stock, all in Europe, all in all the camping shops everywhere. They just don't exist at the moment. So at the moment, I'm just stuck with this until I can find one of those. But on the Foxway just gone, I did manage to sleep in my front, and if I can home that in the front sleeping thing then I might even be able to get the wide short ones which are like the kids sleep on but then you know if I sleep on my front it's only going to be sort of my thigh upwards that needs the mat and that'll have it there pillow I ain't gonna upgrade this it's cheap it's cheerful I don't I can't justify spending 50 pounds on a seat to summit pillow when you can buy a five pound one from Decathlon or Amazon my CPEX uh, Altiplex 10. I love this thing, it's amazing, it is really really cool and it's super light but then when you start discovering hiking and hiking world through hiking etc and then you discover tarps so they do a hexamine tarp which is about half this, it's like 180 grams or 230 grams and the door is like 470 ish so again if I'm going to build the ultimate lightweight summer kit that will probably feature in there somewhere or if I can't justify the money then there's another company called uh, Bora, Bora Gear, that's it Bora Gear, they do one which is a little bit heavier, it's obviously just a square tarp and um, it's only 70, 70 pounds or 80 pounds, you know, not, not much anyway. So there will be a tarp somewhere in the future in the mix ultimate lightweightness. Another piece of gear that I absolutely adore is my Atom 40 Custom Plus. I'm six foot two and I wear extra large clothes generally or large but generally large extra large somewhere in that sort of category. This is a 40 litre and I can get all this stuff in but it's a bit of a squeeze but generally your stuff doesn't change so much all you do is just add more food so it does work but it doesn't work with my UGQ minus 13 sleeping bag because that just gobbles literally half the bag and then when I put the tent in that I'm pretty left with nothing so <clears throat> for winter usage or for the colder months I would like to get a 50 litre maybe in a 55 litre version of this because um, in the winter you obviously carry more clothes you're going to carry a stove and yeah so I love it but I just like to get a bigger one too for winter usage. Um, I don't intend to stop when it gets cold basically I want to crack on. The next thing on the list is this is my puffy 
Now I've just bought, just ordered a Torrid Apex uh, lighted equipment jacket. So this will resort to my pub jacket, my everyday jacket. It is my everyday jacket too, but it'll just be full time every day um, because that's on the way. And that's about it really. I'm happy with the rest. There's just a few pieces of kit I'd like to purchase in the future, upgrade, uh, take a slightly side track to make make my kit lighter. Um, yeah, watch this space as over the next year or so I'll start to build that kit and see what's what and do more bits and pieces. Anyway, if, you, if you've come straight to this video, make sure you go back and watch the loadout video, which is all this kit in the Atom. Um, if you like this video, like and follow, share and all that jazz. I might make some more videos. I might not. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? It's, but yeah, do, do the honours.